the, the initiative of people that deliver is, is uh, to me of uh, special interest because it brings a cross-cutting vision on supply chain issues. One of the main challenges of health logistics was that before the people that deliver initiative, it was seen as uh, very vertically and mainly considered inside programs which brings a lot of issues and challenges inside countries. And the, the vision of the people that deliver initiative is, is much larger. For example, it was started inside the Reproductive Health Supply Coalition, and, and now it brings uh, members fr from uh, all over the world. The people that deliver initiative is not about establishing one single model for all, and uh, one size uh, fits all reference on the way supply chain should be organized. It, it addresses both the issues of health personnel with supply chain's responsibility and the emergence of a professional community of health logisticians. This board meeting was the third of its kind, but it was the first in-person meeting. So it was particularly important to establish links between board members and that will be of great value for future work. So the first challenge I think that is in front of the, the board and the initiative is to establish its strategic plan after a promising beginning. It has to be structured into a strategic plan and the second issue that, that was addressed during that board meeting was uh, the, the governments of the initiative uh, with issues such as the, the interim uh, chair that you mentioned and also the issue of the director and, and the, the responsibility that the future director will have with respect to the initiative and the host organization and also to confirm the, the way the working groups and the focus countries uh, will we'll, uh, move ahead with the initiative in the near future.